Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to set up Kodi and get Dix Xenon add-on, which is probably the best Kodi add-on you can use in 2024. It has the newest movies, TV shows, live TV, as well as sports channels, and it doesn't cost a dime. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to set it up on your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app code downloader to your Fire Stick. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device and in the search bar start typing the loader. As you can see, the loader already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. So we click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we gotta go to settings. Let's do it right now. Here are the settings, open them, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Here you have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Sticks, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which just appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps. From here, locate the loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they are not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say we'll connect to Denmark right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same amazing deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta open the loader. There it is, open it. Wait until it loads. And now, when the loader opened, on the left side menu in the app, make sure to click on Home and not on Browser. So click on Home and here, in that bar, we gotta enter a link, which is going to be Kodi.tv. So let's do it right now. Once again, it's Kodi.tv. So you can see the whole link on your screen right now. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make any mistake, the link is not going to work. After that, click on Go. And while the website is loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video, it truly really helps us a lot and this way we'll be able to create even more content for you. After that you have to click on the sandwich button right here on the website, click on it and then go to download. There it is, click on it. Now a new web page has opened for us, we have to scroll down until we see Android. It doesn't matter if you are using a Fire Stick or Android TV or a Chromecast, all those devices are Android based, so that's exactly the reason why we are using the Android version. So click on Android, and after a new page opens, just scroll down. And for me, I'll be using the ARM v7a version. 
it should work with the majority of our sticks. So we click on it and now in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Then click on install and wait until Kodi gets installed to your Fire Stick. After that, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation file, as we don't need it anymore on our device, so click on delete and then delete once again. This way we get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save you some free space. And that's really important, because you don't really have too much of free space on your device anyway. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device, there it is, open it, then scroll down and here you'll find the Kodi app which we just downloaded. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines, click on it and then press on move to front. This way Kodi is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. And once again, you can get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free if you use the link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com. Then finally, let's open Kodi, click continue, and we have to allow access to the files on your device. When the app loads, we have to click on that cogwheel at the very top in the menu. This will lead us to the settings. From here, we have to go to system. Then scroll down and go to add-ons. From here, go to unknown sources and turn that option on. Click on yes. We must do it and turn this option on so we could get add-ons from the internet. Now we have to go back and click on the file manager. Then go to the add source, click on none, and here we need to enter a link. So let's enter it together. Take a look at the screen. So as you can see the link is http digs oneme digs repo You can see the whole link on your screen right now, so make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes, cause obviously if you make a mistake the link is not going to work. After that you have to click on OK and click OK here at the bottom. Now we have to go back, click on add-ons right here, select install from zip file, select digs repo from the list, click on it. Select that file, wait a bit. Now, as you can see, the this repository add-on was installed. We can see that message in the right part of the screen. Now we have to click on the install from repository, click on digs, go to program add-ons, and from here you have to click on Chief Omega Wizard. So we click on it and click on the install button. Here you just click OK, and now the installation has started. OK, it was just installed, you gotta click on the close button here, and then such a message is going to appear, you have to click on yes. And from here, select the Dig Xenon 3 version. Click on continue, and now the download has started. And then the app might restart and you might need to open it again. And from the moment you open the app, you will be able to use Dig Xenon now. And browse through all kinds of categories movies, TV shows, TV guides, sports, music, and so on. So enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.